Alright, there's a yellow cat. He's kind of like a shy, passive kind of male. Um, there's Buddy. And down there is a cat I call Midnight. It's all black, except it's got a little white part on his chest. And he always fights, and uh, I think Buddy's aware that he's there. But that's the positioning of the cats initially. This is right before sunrise, about an hour um, before sunrise. Or was it after sunset? I don't remember. Anyways, it was one of those two. And uh, it was dark outside. The camera's picking up the light pretty well. Better than uh, eyesight can see. And what happens is these three males are all positioned out here. Now, the yellow one is just positioned because he's hiding. And there goes... There goes Midnight. He's gonna come... He's gonna come up around... He's gonna follow the faces. But he doesn't realize this yet. Alright, now this is a female cat. The buddy, he, buddy likes this cat. She doesn't like him. But Buddy likes this cat. He follows it every time it comes up. And this cat comes from the left of my uh, apartment. They're heading north, so it comes from the south. Out there somewhere. And it walks all the way down here to this one house. That's in the front right up there. One apartment. And it stares in the, in the window. It does this every day. It goes down there and it stares in the window and it's like waiting for someone to open the door. This is where my story comes in. Uh, what I think happened there. But I think someone either abandoned them or used to live there and is gone now. And this cat never gets anybody to just let it in or give it treats. But anyways, Buddy's over there trying to impress her. She's not impressed, but look who's over there. He just crouched down, midnight, by the door. So this is where cats get into fights. Male cats get into fights a lot of times because Buddy's distracted by this female cat and he doesn't see midnight, who usually... If cats are going to get in a fight, it's usually over a woman. You know, they want to impress her, show out who's best. But yeah, I watched this for a while and I thought, this is kind of a sad story, you know, because that cat obviously is going through a lot to get to the to this door. And it's uh, dangerous for Buddy because, like I said, see, he just, now he sees midnight. It's kind of hard to see down there. That's just, if I zoomed in any further, it would get more pixelated and stuff, so, I mean, this is about as far as I can go with this camera uh, at night. But yeah, he, he doesn't know. He's torn. He's exactly between. Midnight's directly behind him, and the girl of his dreams is in front of him. <laughs> and now she jumped up there and scared them both off. <laughs> Midnight got away too. She said, this is my porch. Y'all get the hell out of here. And then it just sits there. And that's a picture uh, of a cat just sitting there. And then later it goes off and it leaves. But of course, Buddy's, you know, got to try to impress her again. Hey, baby. <laughs> Where are you going? What's happening? Have you seen, uh, have you seen my fur? Uh, look at me. I can walk pretty well. Aren't I impressive? Wouldn't you like a date? Would you like a date? Get away from me! Can a girl walk around without being pestered? All these cat calls. Hey, baby. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 how cats disappear. That's what happens to cats. If you uh, have an outdoor cat and you never and it never shows up again. But he came back after this. But I mean, still, that's just, this is what happens in cat life. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.